Today we're going to fix a drone laying queen. Hello, I'm Griffiths, welcome to Winning Griffith, here we dog everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now if this is your first time here, welcome, please click that subscribe button, click that bell and give me a thumbs up so you're notified of when new videos are uploaded. Now we're just down here on the bees, we're putting second supers on all these hives and we came to one hive, we just uh, visited the, in last week's video Click the link below to see that video. So the bees were not in the super like all the other hives. Something was wrong. And on close inspection, turns out the queen had just run out of semen a few weeks ago. There was some drone brood left there, but the egg, it was a single egg at the bottom of the cell, which indicates to me that it's a drone laying queen. If it was a drone laying worker, there'd be multiple eggs within that cell and not right at the bottom. So we knew straight away it's a drone laying queen. We can fix that. Let's go do that right now. But since we're here, let's go into this hive to see why they're not in that super. The bees are looking all right. Plenty of shine and vigor to them. But something is wrong, yeah? Plenty of pollen, plenty of winter stores, nice fresh pollen. They're not giving me the queen less raw, There's some kind of brood in here, I would have thought. Big queen cell. That's damaged. I think queen is on the way out. Yeah. Hardly any worker cell. Feel drawn. There are eggs. Only one egg at the bottom of the cell, so it's not a, a drone laying worker. There's a queen in here and she's totally kaput. Uh, desperate to make another queen. The queen has just run out of steam and that's all it is. Right, okay, what are we going to do here? So we've got one, two, the one I pulled out, three, four, five frames of bees. There's loads of bees here flying. I'm not going to give them a queen, but what I am going to do, I am going to give them a frame of brood and eggs and just let them crack on. If they survive, they survive. If they don't, if they don't. I mean, there's a lot of bees there. It's not a, a, a drone laying worker. If that was the case, it'd just be an instant shake out. There's a dud queen in there. If I were to give these bees a good frame of brood and eggs, chances are, as long as we get the weather, they will fix themselves. 
won't be much of a honey production hive because they're going to get knocked back seriously but that's what I'm going to do in this case I think looking at that that's the best case for it so there's a shock this was a six frame nuke two weeks ago and they have filled that box right up they did have drawn frames so it wasn't foundation frames and they've taken to that fresh brood is hatched through and they just fill the box up so they need a super but i haven't got queen excluders i didn't think these guys were going to be as advanced that's the pain i'm going to have to come here next week and super these two but anyway they're strong enough we're going to take a frame of eggs and brood from this hive and we're going to put it in there so we've already taken a frame from there that's out You want to be roughly taking a frame from the middle. These end frames should be fresh eggs and brood. That's too tight, I'm going to have to take a frame off on the end first, make some space. super frame which I've obviously put in because I didn't have a full frame they will draw on that not recommended but that's what you do when you are stuck keep that there safe Bit of drone, bit of worker. Uh, too much drone brood on that frame. Don't want to give them any more drones. Drones. There must have been a lot of holes in those frames right not there that's better that's perfect look at that solid brood lovely shape to them pollen around the edge lovely not many eggs but since this box is so full and I haven't got a super today, I'm going to take two frames of here. So the idea, this brood will hatch out relatively quick because it's sealed, which will boost this hive's numbers up. Let's make some space. That's that. Oh, let's find a frame with lots of eggs. Lots of eggs on that. Probably can't see in there, but that's full of eggs in there. And then up into solid brood so this is the perfect frame to fix that hive we're just looking quickly for the queen you can't see her but we don't need the bees to do this fix shake the bees into the box double check put that in here and that's going to fix hopefully this hive in here so we've got the solid frame of brood young brood and eggs that's in the center of that hive really mix match of frames and you know, mix everything 
a lot harder. <laughs> And we're not even going to bother cut the queen says off for anything. All right, that's it. Let's recap what we've just done. Drone laying queen in here, not drone laying worker. They've got queen cells. They don't want to swarm, but they want a new queen before they die. There's plenty of bees in there. We can fix it. We've taken a frame of brood and a frame of eggs from here. We've transferred it over to them. These can now create a new queen, which will take over the hive. They're not going to want to swarm because they're not making queen cells because they want to swarm. Hence why we've left everything there. Let them sort that out. Two empty frames back in here. It's given these bees a bit more space. Next week we'll be fine for a super for these. That's what we've just done. Now, just a thought, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. These bees are not going to expand for a long time. They're actually going to shrink. So that super can actually go on this hive because these are not going to shrink at all. So we'll smoke these down, out the way. Put that over there. They've now taken that super. These bees belong in there. And that's it. That hive is now fixed. It's got more of a chance of succeeding and failing as long as that weather is good. Well, there you go. Hopefully that is a fix. Now, as long as we get good weather, that hive should fix itself. Now, just a note, you saw me put the frames back in there and I didn't cut out any of the queen cells. The reason for that is that hive was not trying to swarm. There's no swarming insect in instinct there. They're just creating a queen to take over. There's not enough bees there to swarm. So sometimes you just leave nature do what it wants to do, but just help, help them along. Now, I was pretty confident the eggs or the queen cells in there, they, they, were, they weren't gonna come to much because they're probably sterile, so they weren't gonna actually hatch through anyway. Now, just to recap what I've done. We gave them a full frame of brood. That brood is gonna hatch out within the next week, two weeks max, and that's gonna populate that hive with new, fresh, young bees, lots of nurse bees. Now, those bees are gonna be able to create a new queen or look after the queen cell as that queen cell is hatching through. The second frame we put in had lots of eggs on it. So the bees will take an egg, look after it, turn that into a queen cell, and there'll be lots of fresh bees in there to continue to look after the young brood on the other frame. We get some good weather, that queen will hatch out successfully, hopefully. She'll be able to go out and mate successfully, hopefully. By the time she comes back, the second frame of eggs would have hatched through as well. So what we've created is a small nucleus. All the old bees will have died off by then, but the two frames that we've just put in, new bees will hatch through that, and they will look after that new queen, and they can build up from there. So that's what we've done. It's not a guarantee way to fix it, but as long as you get good weather, that is a good way of doing it. Because you try add a new queen into an old hive like that, the chances are you're just gonna waste 40 quid by a new queen. They will just kill that queen straight away. By doing it like this, you're giving them the best chance of success. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you wanna watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.